Hello guys and welcome on my channel. Today we're gonna talk about uh, the best ravaged map strategies that I tested this league and I have played over 200 maps in many different setup. I will talk about other strategies uh, in a separate video maybe later this league when I play even more but this one felt better on a small sample like under 30 so when I felt the strategy goes well I played more and more seeing where it takes me because as you can see there are some unlucky sessions and like very lucky sessions but when you play like 50 maps then you get let's say an average of of your drops right so you can see it varies from four and a half k which was the earlier in the economy so the stack decks were a little bit cheaper etc and then we get closer to 6k where the stack decks and uh, other items let's say went a little bit up right because we have like the ongoing inflation versus divine orbs people want to gamble and they will spend more on on those items because they quit etc right so uh, nevertheless and uh, why is this strategy the best of course this is double golden triple silver opal and triple teal so first thing is that the teal oil seems to be pretty good it's i'd say optimal although there are, there are some alternative ways not to play with teal oils and we'll come to this in, in a second however uh, when we really want to maximize and get the best results yeah using teal is quite good right so what is the result so we run 10 maps in 75 minutes previously i calculated this as 70 but it's not reliable when you run a lot of those maps you will get a lot of small items so unless you really really cut out many cheap items from your filter you, you're not gonna make it in 70 unfortunately it should be 70 maybe if you had like mage blood to loot faster and you had the like optimize optimized filter this could fit in 70 minutes that would be perfect but uh, with let's say early on in the league and uh, picking up a lot of items it's around 75 and it makes uh, let's say without the lucky drops it's a little bit under 10 divines per hour however when we add like those uh, voidborn reliquary keys and maps etc it's above 10 divines per hour and this does not include like the fractured items like the jewelry you could additionally pick okay if you pick jewelry like the normal one or you identify fractured items it will add the time so i'm not sure how those numbers will change what i'm doing is i'm like picking only fractured jewelry because they take not much space in my inventory i don't have that many tabs so i can easily pick let's say five items per map and try to trade them some of them are really good so i sold some fractured items for two divines some for five divines some for eight divines so yeah it's definitely worth to pick them up but yeah i just limit myself to jewelry since it takes and you know like jewels it takes one slot in your inventory in like the optimal way right because the more tabs you have the more income you get it's, it's like the you know the basic stuff about poe so what is the loot distribution of of this strategy right so we've got like a total of 25k chaos per 50 maps and 20 percent of that were divine orbs 13 percent were stack decks you had like 6.5 percent of golden oils because they are very expensive right now and like chaos silver awaken sextants and opals right so we can see like you get around 75 percent of your loot in like top 20 25 drop right but this is not completely true i have excluded all the lucky drops from from this uh, breakdown because it would heavily impact the number so actually the top drop that you can expect is the is this key uh, when i played this strategies when i tested strategies it was three divines now it's even five divines so if you pop this up to like and it should take numbers up what is wrong with this ah you see i had i had the problem with my spreadsheet so it's even like closer to 11 but if we put in like a real price it's like 
11 divines, but on the other hand, you might not drop one key per 50 maps because I think it's like one per 60, 70, something like this. I dropped eight keys in approximately like 250 maps, but I think I was lucky. So I think that's like a top number rather than low. But yeah, with using golden oil, it's definitely more frequent than whether you run some different uh, cheaper strats, right? So as you can see, I tested like non-teal, non-golden oil strats to, of course, you, you wouldn't drop as much keys with, with those, right? And uh, this is one of the reasons that I really like the double golden oil, because besides you drop like pretty decent amount of, of the currency, like we did in 3.19 with the, let's say, the cheapest strategy that did not, you know, did not uh, require golden oils, but only black, silver and opals, and not even three silvers, which are the most expensive. So with this one, yeah, we had a little bit better um, loot distribution, but we did not have many lucky drops, right? So uh, there was not much and the total per hour was 8.8, .8, right? With 200, right? So it's hard to compare between the leagues, between the two states of economy. And for this reason, I created something like, you know, this uh, strategy uh, comparison, right? But it's not perfect. First of all, not all items with this strategy matched the old top 20 items, right? So I had to, let's say, pick like cheaper items, less, less drop for the 3.20, strat right so this this is let's say impacting uh, results negatively for this strat because i should take like dragon's heart divine beauty ancient orb right i didn't even include this in a lucky drop because you will get a lot of those cards actually and the dragon's heart you can see i dropped three per 50 and divine beauty i dropped two so while nurse and doctor are rare drop voidborn cure is a rare drop then you will drop let's say uh, I don't know, tier two cards quite frequently. So it's a normal drop. And Ancient Orbs now drops very frequently from your shards chests, right? So with Golden Oil, you duplicate it. And instead of dropping like eight shards of Ancient Orb, you drop like two, you know, complete orbs because it's like one orb and then it's duplicated. I don't know, you just get two per node. So I dropped like 17. And if you go to 3.19 to see see this number, oh, let's search, oh, I don't think we even have it, so that's the difference, right? We didn't even have like Ancient Orb in this spreadsheet, so yeah, it seems <laughs> per 50 maps we did not even make like one, and that's the difference that let's say impacts this strategy, but we can see that it's, let's say, it seems to be worse than 3.19, so we could say, okay, the game is now nerfed, but it's the opposite. I feel that the blighted maps are in much better state in 3.20. Uh, we can use like 3.19 price set with this tool, just values. So we can uh, put like 3.19 values. So if with 3.19 values, when the div was like uh, 200, the cost of map is automatically, you know, created basing on the prices that are in here. And we can see that it was, let's say, equally uh, profitable. Main driver behind it is like the small amount of drop. So with double golden oil, we get a lot of loot. You need to go back to your hideout like three times at least, right? With this strategy, you probably had to go one up to two times maximum. So sometimes when you dropped like those equipment chests, or weapon chests, you had no loot, damn it, you get like maybe one divine or not, you get 100c, doesn't matter because it takes you six and a half minutes to clear a map, you run another and in another you drop like three divines, it doesn't matter because it's, you know, in the long run, it was profitable, right? And I believe it still is. However, with the recent change of silver oil that now we get 50% of item quantity transformed into loot in that's you know found in chests we have a lot more chances to drop like the keys like the rare cards like i dropped you know a doctor from from a chest not not from a stacked deck but a chest right so it's really it really helps and 
with this change finally the golden oil is quite viable right and we can use this expensive strategy to drop something rare and yeah if it's worth it i will after i let's say normalized the profits i think i'm still gonna test this strategy this leak right to see what is a 3.20 version when i tested like 10 maps it was far beyond so the oil changes and the black oil uh, buffs weren't enough so uh, here i made a little calculation so they changed a black oil from six because previously you had like 25 percent of your map modifiers increased by epidemiology right so when you used uh, two black oils it was like 12 percent because it first was it was like six plus six right now it's like six and they increased it to seven so it's like seven plus seven so it's 12 but if we increase this by 125 it was 15 so you see we lost like one percent right so it's six percent worse on average than it was in 3.19 that's the story right if they buffed it by eight percent it would be like 33 percent stronger right but we only get like 16 percent buff where it was 25 on average so different oils got buffed by a different percentage and the black oil really let's say lost its strength a bit especially compared to silver oil where silver oil not only was buffed it wasn't buffed by buffed by 25 percent but they increased this uh, basic loot conversion from item quantity overall item quantity which really makes silver oil much much better and for this reason i feel like triple silver oil is the meta here so going like double silver oil we basically close our chances for dropping items like the keys right or the rare cards so my goal will be like running this strategy a little bit more extensively seeing if we can really make it still make it in 65 minutes per 10 maps because if not it's like complete garbage but if we can maybe this let's say the speed here is the main driver for behind profit because we still dropped like the sextants right we will still drop some golden oils divine orbs those are very valuable uh, we'll still drop stack decks right and i think when we go to the loot breakdown this is exactly the the order right so divine orbs are our main profit here stack decks then golden oil then chaos orb silver oil awakened sextants and opal oil and actually <laughs> after one after i simulated this with a 3.19 i found out that this strategy that's even better when the golden oil is cheap because we spend a lot of currency to invest in golden oil if it's like cheaper than 60 if it's like 44 or if it would be like fair oh, sorry i should change it in here uh, if it was like a 30 right so this gets only better right so this is one thing about the strategy maybe early in the league it will be like unbeatable because the golden oil is not that expensive early on it's you know people don't really just maps with it because they cannot afford they don't have like uh, financial fluidity to, 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 to do so and yeah it, it just go up and the divine orb are let's say quickly going up in price because people need them to like roll ashes etc <clears throat> so and of course craft so yeah it's uh, basically the ratio yeah that matters it would require some advanced math to actually make it you know maybe find the best strategy based on the prices but maybe we will get there uh, in next leagues right like making some ad advanced calculations based on our data to see which strategy behaves the best in which let's say economy right based on the prices but yeah again don't take this too seriously this is between the leaks with a lot of changes indirect changes like arch nemesis loot changes so we have a really let's say shake up and i expect in 3.21 it will be again a shake up so plan for this league is to maybe test this strategy but from all of those that i tested and i tested like those triple golden oils that other streamers show you and they say oh look how much uh, device you drop it's it's just not profitable and we'll talk about this in another video but yeah this is like two golden oils is optimal i tried three i tried one i tried zero 
and the silver oil is really top tier so if i had to like make a tier list of oils the first would be of course triple silver that's your most important oil this league then double golden seems very very strong because of the you know lucky drops so those really make a difference right especially that the void born key is now like five divines and this is this is just crazy so this is this is really something you want to drop as often as possible but three golden oils don't really make that difference why because first golden oil is like 30 percent chances to drop something right so you roll a dice and for instance when, when we drop our one to four we don't get reward when we roll five or six on our dice uh, we get the reward right so when you have 60 percent of chances right this this gets doubled so maybe you get uh, i don't know one or two is your fail and three to four is not right and when you get like 90 percent only one is fail but um this let's say this multiplies the costs of your runs while this is not multiplying your chances not, not sure if i <laughs> if i explained this well right but the idea is that the first oil increases your loot let's say by 30 percent like right and the second golden oil increases your loot by let's say 30 percent but the third golden oil increases your loot by 20 percent which means you pay 60 for this 60 for this 60 for this but the last one is the least effective right so i tried one with highest uh, let's say um, effectivity but then i tried second with a little bit lower effectivity and it's still somehow worth it and this is not everything because when you use free golden oils you also take slot right so it's not only let's say incre increasing it's not only increasing your loot by 20 percent but also you miss like i don't know one opal oil which maybe increases uh, the loot by 15 percent so it's actually not giving you 20%, it gives you 5% per 60 chaos. While Opal Oil is like, okay, let's take it, uh, you know, 8C and it's 15%. So you pay 52 chaos for 5% more loot, right? This is why it's not going to work. And I doubt it will be ever profitable to run free golden oils versus like other strategies that are really optimized, tested on a big you know big sample because if you run like few maps and you drop the key right with three golden oils sure you, you will go to 15 device it doesn't matter because as you know the more you play this number will go down because you won't drop those that much often as it drives your overall costs and then it cuts your margin right so yeah not making this video longer i would only want to show you that uh, we created a small uh, discord server i will make a separate video about this but you're all guys welcome to to join it i will link this in the description and yeah this is just a start we just make like a skeleton it's basically empty now we can invite some people i will just start filling the content getting getting this ready for next league so maybe we can play together or help each other or, or share some tips and uh, you know in the future test the strategies together so that's the plan and i will yeah uh, create another video about it so i uh, sorry your question what should i do to maximize my profit this is the answer go double golden triple silver opal and triple teal if you cannot do that wait for other videos where i explain like the other strategies and uh, how and when they are good and when you should do them but if you can do the triple teal just do this one you will be happy and you will get a lot of rare drops and you know have a lot of fun with the game so thanks for watching and yeah stay tuned cheers bye